Hi everybody, David Dilling from MarkSquare. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how we can get an Apple Pages document into InDesign using PDF as the medium and PDF DTP as the tool to help make this happen. Here on my desktop, you see a folder I have of an Apple Pages document. In there, I have the Pages document itself, which you see looks very similar to a PDF in the icon which if I double click, see I don't have pages on my machine but it will open in Apple Preview and you can see this test file we have added many different features and functions from pages pie charts, other sorts of charts symbols, texts, arrows pretty much you name it, you see here are some nice uh, some nice images with text run around etc. So this is how it looks within pages more or less. Now many people have asked how can we get Apple Pages into InDesign? Pages to InDesign conversion filter we don't directly have. However, if you export your pages file as a PDF, which we can open up here also in preview, and what you notice is an interesting little bug. <laughs> the pages file previews without the um, proper shading and without the numbers within the pie chart. Very interesting. So you see in the PDF the way it really looks within pages. Okay, so keep an eye on some of these these things and we're gonna look come back and look at this later. So how do we get then this Apple Pages PDF into Adobe InDesign? Well for that we'll need to jump over into InDesign In this case, I'm using CS6, and up top is a Marks for Menu item. And there we can choose PDF DTP amongst our other products, and we can choose Convert PDF. So now we go into the folder where the files are. You can see the PDF right here, and if we select it and click Open, we're now able to effectively get this Pages document right into Adobe InDesign via the PDF format and Marksware's PDF DTP, a plugin for Adobe InDesign CS5, CS5.5, or CS6 as you're seeing in this case. Click open. You could also say import or convert. Converts better because we'll see we're gonna make that PDF, we're gonna get all the layers and colors and font information and 3D shaping and shadowing all right in. There we see it like a hot knife cutting through soft butter. We convert this file. And there you have it. The file that was just before in Adobe Pages exported to a PDF by a colleague and now I need it in InDesign. And with Marksware's PDF DTP that's all 100% possible. By the way, there's a lot of advanced settings that can help make the conversion even more exact. And we recommend that you tinker around with these settings to make sure you get the best conversion possible. PDF DTP will also save to a job folder and extract all images from the file. I'll show you that in a moment. All right, so now we see that we get the uh, a full conversion, and you'll see that it looks almost exactly like the original. Now I say almost because there are a couple little things and that is a, a reality of life. The PDF format is very tricky. It's very chaotic compared to the native DTP or desktop publishing formats. And thus some reworking will be needed. And I'll show you what those are by opening the... So now we'll open up the PDF here on this side in design file you know, a little bit on this side. Now, what do you see right away? Well, you see right away that it's not that bad, the first page. We get the image. We get the text running around the image, just like it should. But you see the table, although it converts, and that's tables are also very tricky. That's pretty cool. But what you do see is that the, sh the, the uh, stylization of the colorization did not carry over. 
So that's something we'll need to add back in and in design. A little touch-up. Now, I was most impressed with this with this funky chart here from Pages that it came right on over into InDesign perfectly. Very impressed with that. And you see this is just an image that you can move around and and replace. You'll see the two the, the text layer and the image layer. So that is pretty that's pretty darn cool. That's going to save us a lot of time. Page 2 you'll see is also an excellent conversion but I'm highly impressed with this pages via PDF to InDesign because it's it's really working great the shapes also uh, worked perfectly you see the arrow the text the shapes the arrow with the same text here arrows with the same text here very very nice block of text and we have here then images with text run around. Perfect. What what I want you to notice, because this is very one of the key things the Marks of Engineers spent a lot of time, and when I say a lot of time, we're talking, well, years, to get this text flow exactly the same. This is not easy to do getting a PDF text into InDesign and exactly the same exact format and spacing and and uh, H and J's and really that's uh, really important. Now here we have another another table. The same problem with this table is the um, the coloring disappeared. That said, we get all of the symbols coming right on over. So this is pretty cool. Once again, extremely useful, and very, very, very uh, impressed with that. Do a little bit of touching up with the colorization there. Here we have some images with uh, rotation. You see that comes right on over. Fantastic. And the last page we have uh, text with an image placed with some uh, nice effects, and it all stays. And look at that. Even InDesign Preflight says no errors. Now, I'd be more curious what Mark's first flight check says when we pre-flight it, but we'll leave that for another time. All right, so that is it, folks. That's how you get Apple Pages file right into Adobe InDesign with Markswares PDF to DTP, a great way to convert PDF files and native Adobe Illustrator files right into InDesign, available for InDesign and Quark Express and available for Mac or Windows. PDF TTP is extremely affordable and works fantastic, as you just saw here, and will save you countless hours and thus money in recreating desktop publishing layouts. In this case, a Pages file, could be Corel Draw, could be Microsoft Word, and via PDF gets it right back into a, a desktop publishing environment you're familiar with, in this case, Adobe InDesign CS6. One last thing to show you is I talked about the job folder. In the job folder, there you'll see the two versions of PDF DTP. I have one for Quark and one for InDesign. And if I go into one for InDesign, you'll see all the jobs I've converted over the last uh, well couple months here. And if we search by date, we'll get this here test folder that we did test file we just converted. And you'll see that we get all the images extracted out and the InDesign file which we're working on now. So extremely useful and these these you know just to show you we can now open up these look at that there's that there's that pie chart look how beautiful it is and look how great it converted over. If you need more information on Markswares PDF DTP cruise on over to Markswares.com today go to the product section PDF DTP. Here you'll find a more detailed video and many other video tutorials and a host of more information on PDF DTP and how valuable it can be for your workflow. Convert any PDF from any source file right into Adobe InDesign or even Quark Express. Click here to buy now. This has been David Dilling from Marksware on pages to InDesign via PDF with Marksware's PDF DTP and InDesign CS6. 
Have a great day.